Hello everyone, in this video I am going to tell you about vaginal infections and uh, most importantly these three uh, bacterial vaginosis, candidiasis and trichomonas vaginalis. So first of all we will start with bacterial vaginosis. I have tried to make a chart here so that you can you guys can learn it quite easily. So first of all bacterial vaginosis. The main causative organism for bacterial vaginosis is Gardnella vaginalis which is also known as Haemophilus vaginalis. This bacteria usually live in the normal vaginal gut but uh, in some conditions for example its etiology increased vaginal pH in case of increased vaginal pH when the pH is usually about 4.5 these bacteria will multiply thousand folds time and leading to the bacterial vaginosis condition so is it sexually transmitted no bacterial vaginosis is not sexually transmitted and the main symptoms we can see there are not certainly any symptoms is just the discharge that uh, offend the females so the discharge will be of fishy odor the fishy odor will be present of the discharge there are no certain itching or pruritus symptoms are present in case of bacterial vaginosis so the discharge what is the you know characteristic of the discharge so the discharge is thin creamy and yellowish the thin creamy and yellowish discharge is present in case of bacterial vaginosis it is very important point and if we see the speculum there will be no uh, inflammation of the vaginal epithelium seen under the speculum examination and if we will see microscopically then also an important question again clue cells clue cells are seen in case of which of the following infections they are seen in bacterial vaginosis clue cells are seen in case of bacterial vaginosis or the question can come in such way that uh, clue cells uh, are due to which bacteria which bacteria can lead to clue cells in the vagina so it can can be Haemophilus vaginalis also known as Gardnella vaginalis and also if potassium hydroxide test is done the positive whiff test is present so positive whiff test is also a characteristic of bacterial vaginosis so what is the treatment here so if we will see the treatment uh, then we can see uh, metronidazole or clindamycin or simple antibiotics which we use for bacterial vaginosis infection so this is all about the bacterial vaginosis infection now we will move to candidiasis so if we will see candidiasis it is caused by dimorphic fungi fungi basically uh, leads to infection in our body whenever our immune system is compromised so the etiology also suggests so that increase uh, decreased immunity whenever the person is immunocompromised and uh, the female is immunocompromised in those cases uh, it can lead to candidiasis infection so the pH will be less than 4.5 in candidiasis cases and it is also not sexually transmitted in most of the cases unless or until the candidiasis is full blown out in such cases it can still transfer and uh, symptoms include severe itching and burning sensation as you can compare it from bacterial vaginosis there are no such symptoms present but in case of fungal infection as you already know fungal infection like ringworm and other tenias infection they leads to severe itching so itching will be present and burning sensation will also be present uh, in such patients so discharge if you will see the discharge difference uh, discharge will be curdy white in these cases curdy white discharge is present in so this question can come like this curdy white discharge in which vaginal infection it is in candidiasis now if you will see the speculum uh, inflamed epithelium can be seen the epithelium lining of the vagina can be inflamed in these cases so it is clearly seen and also there can be plaques are present on the vaginal wall plaques can also be present on the vaginal wall and if we will uh, move down to the next text for example uh, microscopically if we will see uh, white blood cells are present in case of candidiasis infection and in case of koh uh, treat uh, you can say examination pseudo hyphae are present so fungus infection as we know they used to form colonies various colonies so these colonies have these hyphae like structure present so pseudo hyphae are present in case of candidiasis and what is the treatment treatment are mainly oral or vaginal azoles we can use it is a whole drug group uh, which can use which are very helpful against the fungal infection we can use oral fluconazole and in some cases we have to treat both the female and the partner also 
so this is the uh, two important uh, vaginal infection now coming to the third one which is trichomonas vaginalis so if you will see trichomonas vaginalis the causative organism is trichomonas vaginalis as the name suggests it can be uh, learned from the name only trichomonas vaginalis so uh, this is the parasitic infection which leads to the trichomonas vaginalis condition in a female so what is the etiology etiology it is always sexually transmitted so out of all these three which is sexually transmitted then definitely you will go for trichomonas vaginalis and the ph will be in such cases will be more than 4.5 the ph will be more than 4.5 and sexual transmission yes it is sexually transmitted what are the symptoms symptoms include irritation itching and burning sensation all of these are like uh, same for the candidiasis also but in candidiasis it is more severe the itching is more severe as compared to trichomonas vaginalis now we will compare the discharge as in case of vaginosis uh, there is thin creamy yellowish discharge in case of candidiasis there is curdy white discharge while in case of trichomonas vaginalis it is frothy green discharge frothy green discharge will be present in this infection so these are very important point regarding discharge they tend to come in various competitive exam in medical line so speculum examination if you will see strawberry cervix it is quite important as i have highlighted it also that strawberry cervix is seen in trichomonas uh, vaginalis infection and microscopically if you will see there are motile trichomonads like those parasites we can see under the microscope and wbcs are also seen in some case if we will do the uh, potassium hydroxide test then whiff test can be positive but in most of the cases it is negative only so whiff test is specifically like you can say if one uh, option they have to choose so it will be bacterial vaginosis for like if out of four option we have to choose one then it is sure for bacterial vaginosis but if it will come as a multiple choice question then you can choose trichomonas vaginalis also because in some cases whiff test can be positive in these cases what are the treatment treatment is the same metronidazole and in this case as it is sexually transmitted we definitely have to treat both the woman and his uh, her partner so this is all about uh, various vaginal infections so i hope you guys will learn from this video quite easily and uh, thank you very much